What's up everybody? It is me again, Destiny, and today in this video... Sorry, I'm just a little bit extra excited because today is a little bit extra, more like a whole lot extra of a super duper exciting video, you guys. I'm so, so, so happy. You know why? You know why I'm so happy? Because, let me tell you, let me tell you. Today, everybody, is an amazing day. And today is an exciting, extra, exquisite, exciting video because, honey boo boo, we are going to be dabbing. Alright everybody, so yes, I just made my first purchase of some wax. When I was in San Diego, wax was extremely expensive and overpriced. And when I went to the dispensary today, they sold me some of this West Coast Cure wax. So this is what it looks like. As you can see up here, it says it was $30. And the guy told me at the dispensary that this was a full gram, but now that I look closely at it, I realize that in the corner here, it only says 0.5. I don't know if you guys are able to see that, but it says 0.5, so I'm not too sure if this is like a half gram or a full gram. I would assume that it is a half gram because it says 0.5. But to me, in my personal opinion, for someone who's like not an experienced dabber, this seems like a full gram to me. Like I even looked at it in the dispensary before I bought it and it wasn't like I looked at it and I was like, what? That's not a full gram, you know? Like to me, it looks like quite a bit of wax. But when I came home, I then noticed on the packaging it said 0.5. So that is the wax that I bought and on top of that I also got this half gram of some 2020 crumble. Since this is my first time experiencing with wax I did want to branch out and try different things and I actually tried a sample dab of this last time I went into the dispensary and it was really really dank and I've noticed that amongst watching other weed tubers and other people who dab they always like to say that the clear wax is the one that's like more healthy for your lungs I guess I don't really know I guess it has like less resin I would assume I'm not too familiar I hope to gain more knowledge on wax the more that I dab but um yeah so I got some of that that is from Larry OG and this is supposed to be some I think shatter and so yeah correct me if I'm wrong but I think that's like a shatter it says VIP OG I guess that's like the strain it's a hybrid and this is only a half gram and this was around $35 but luckily they gave it to me for more of a cheaper price So opening it up and smelling it, it smells really weird. Like it smells like a Jetty cartridge pen. Yeah, I've tried Jetty wax cartridges. Um, it's not actually wax, it's a cartridge, but it smells like this. And this is actual wax, so I'm assuming the actual Jetty cartridges does have some sort of wax in it. But a lot of those cartridges only have like CO2 oil. But this is what it looks like. I'll try to show you without making a mess of all of this wax so it's nice and crumbly which seems really fun to dab i'm really excited to try it and it's like pre-scaled for you and everything like that so yeah it says follow us at high hii effects on instagram facebook snapchat and youtube 2020finder.com i've tried pre-rolls from the dispensary that had this same logo on it um they were called 2020 knockouts yeah, I guess this is 2020 wax. And luckily, I also have this dabbing tool that I will be using to like scoop my wax on one end. It's more of like a spoon, which I think is more convenient for the crumble wax. And then this one is more like of a stick, and I feel like that's perfect for the shatter wax. And then I also have this little silk that you guys were telling me I could use as a carb cap in the meanwhile, because I don't have a carb cap currently, so I'm hoping to get a really cool one. And so, yeah, I'm going to use that and then maybe I could even try to put my um, oils in here. So that's really fun. And then for the actual fun part, I got this super incredible, very simplistic rig. It has, I think this is maybe called a banger nail. I'm not familiar with 
like dabbing terminology so I have no idea what kind of nail this is you know leave comments down below let me know educate your girl but I would take a wild guess and say that this is maybe a banger I really don't know I know that a quartz nail does not look like this so I don't think this is a quartz nail I don't really know I don't want to say anything and then be wrong but this literally takes up so little water you guys it has like little honeycomb perks right here two of them and it's just so nice and skinny and it also has this like barcode up here that says UPC and I don't know what UPC stands for so that's interesting but this is what it looks like and I can feel a little bit of water like touching my lips so I feel like you have to be very careful to like just inhale very very smoothly on here and whatnot and yeah this is definitely a rig and not a bong so I don't think it would be convenient to switch this to a bowl piece because you would probably just get a bunch of water so rig it is let's get to dabbing I also of course had to spend a million dollars on a motherfucking torch I wish I didn't have to pay for a torch but you gotta do what you gotta do oh oh shit Damn, so you really have to be careful with these because, shit, I don't even know how to dab, you guys. <laughs> Literally, though. I don't know how to dab. I feel like this is too low. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is fucking huge. I'm so scared I'm going to just, like, burn my face off. Okay, yeah. I should be showing you guys this. I'm like scared to point it towards the camera though. Torches are so scary. I don't even know how long to fucking do it for. Yikes. I don't even have my dab ready. So I'm just going to heat this up pretty hot so that way it could actually cool down too. I know whenever I watch Silence Tippy Dab, she always um, lets her nail cool for a little bit and she'll just be talking. And I'm always thinking in my head when she's talking in her videos, I'm just like... Is she not going to take her dab? Like, isn't her nail going to get cold? But then by the time she takes the dab, it seems really nice and smooth, so it's, like, kind of perfect. But I don't know how hot I'm supposed to have this. I want to, like, touch it and see if it's hot, but then it's like, why the fuck would I touch it? I'm obviously going to burn myself. But, yeah, I don't know how long to heat this up for. I really have no idea. I don't even know where to point at it. I mean, I guess... I don't really know. I don't know. This is my first time dabbing, you guys. <laughs> like, I've hit wax before, but every time I've hit wax, it was someone else doing it for me. And all I had to do was inhale. So, I don't even know if this is correct. I don't even know if I'm holding it up, like, way too close. Please leave any, like, suggestions and tips and tricks for me down below. I'm really scared to try to dab and then have it like waste the wax and not even get hot or whatever. So I really don't want that to happen. I don't know, maybe I have to turn it up more. Maybe like that, I would assume. I don't know, What? maybe it's like way too hot already. I really, I don't know, I really don't know. It doesn't look hot. Like how do you tell if glass is hot or not? Like. Mine is not red. My nail doesn't look red yet. And I know it's not supposed to look red. That's probably means it's too hot. But I don't know. I just, I'm really afraid for it to be too, like, low temp and then not be able to hit the wax correctly. But I'm assuming that maybe that's good. I don't really know. But I'm going to get my dab. This is how big the dab is. So literally... That is what I'm dabbing, just a little crumb. And let's try it. <sighs> Cheers, everybody. Wow, okay. That was fun. That was really fun. That tasted delicious, you guys. That tasted incredibly yummy. It tastes so good. The flavor of wax is so much more different than weed. And I could tell that my nail already got pretty dirty. As you could tell, my nail already got pretty fucking dirty where I put the wax. Um, I tried to aim for the spot that I noticed that I was like torching it up. 
So I can picture that dabbing really does um, make your rig dirty pretty fast because my nails are already dirty which I always see YouTubers using q-tips so I'll probably run and get a q-tip real quick to clean it and then also on my dabbing tool not all of the wax is gone I don't think you guys could tell on the camera like at all but on both sides of it it literally has like oil like still on it so I'm pretty sure that I didn't have high enough temperature because it just didn't seem to melt all of it all the way and also it was extremely nice and soft and smooth on my throat and I feel like the higher the temp the more harsh it will be on your throat so the fact that I didn't feel like coughing or anything like that really makes me feel like I I didn't do it wrong I just didn't probably do it at the right temperature it's such a tricky thing to dab with torches and I knew that even before I had even dabbed just because you don't know the temperature you know you just have to guess you have to time it you have to count the seconds I'm gonna take another dab I'm already pretty stoned I really like how I didn't cough I think that's really nice because whenever I think of dabs I always think of coughing and just dying and just pain and torture but luckily that was extremely extremely just like chilling I got my q-tip and we're just gonna rub a dub dub oh and it doesn't come off wonderful so for some reason um when i try to do that maybe i waited too long and the wax like dried i don't know oh shit i don't know but when i try to clean it my wax doesn't come off literally it's like stuck on there so i mean i tried but it doesn't look too clean to me but let's try some of this shatter so i didn't realize that it's probably extremely fucking smart to actually get your wax first like the amount you're about to dab first and then torch it so then when it's ready to when it's ready to hit you could just pick up your dabber and then boom 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 but my dumbass um decided to torch it first and mid heaving it up i grabbed my little dab so we're gonna try some of this west coast culture i mean west coast cure go follow them on Instagram this smells really good I love this so I'm gonna just use the other end of the dabber or actually I guess I'll just use this end because this end already has wax on it oh shit I got wax on my hands so I'm gonna do a little bit of a fatter da dab this time just cuz fuck it but um, let's see I'm just scraping away. Okay, so I don't know if this is like a super fat dab, but it's bigger than the other one I took, so it's a little bit fat. It's a little fat. I mean, maybe not compared to all you people who be dabbing hella. You guys always roast on me for rolling skimpy blunts, and to me they're fat, and then it's just like, wait, what? Confused. Yeah, so you really don't need the flame up that fucking high. And now there's like little cotton in my fucking nail because of the cotton ball. Or because of the, the Q-tip. So that's not good, but... Okay, I'm gonna let my nail heat up for a little bit longer this time just to see if it feels more harsh on my throat or what's popping. I think this is a perfect video to watch if you're a first-time dabber too because you guys are able to learn from my mistakes rather than trying to dab yourself and then not doing it right or wasting your product or fucking up you know you gotta watch me uh, a beginner see the way i fuck up and make sure you don't make the same mistakes i really wish someone else had made a video like this for me so i could have watched it but it's all boo it's all boo we heat in our nail it's really hard i feel like in the youtube videos these dabbers know exactly when like oh okay the nail is hot and for me it's just like wait what i don't understand like how do I know when it's hot? And how do I know where to put it? Because I, I don't know, I'm like heating up mainly like one side of it just because I'm like not really trying to burn my hand, you know? But in reality, I don't fucking know where to put it. But I would just assume common sense. You heat it up in a main corner and then when you go to dab, you also put it in that main corner, you feel me? My hand is tired. Oh shit, I almost touched it. Fuck, I would have burnt myself. Yeah, you also have to be very careful with like burning yourself but oh yeah you could definitely put your hand over it that's true a lot of people do that they put their hand over it just feel yeah it feels hot 
So let's get to dabbing everybody, our second dab. Cheers! Hope you guys are all having a positive day today. Wow, interesting. It's such a fun experience getting these opportunities to try new products. By the way, huge shout out to Smoke Cartel. I haven't even mentioned that. This rig is from Smoke Cartel. They sent me this and I think it's so simplistic and cute and it's small so it's perfect for the go. Not that I think I'll be dabbing on the go. I love dabbing because you only need one hit and then you're pretty pretty stoned. I'm extremely stoned right now. But the thing that I don't like about this now is that it moves side to side. I think that's just me and my like dabbing technique. But still, the fact that it could do that, like, fuck, like, you know, like, I don't know, that just, mm. and Also, I don't know why I'm a fail, but on my, on my thing, a bunch of wax is still on here. Like, I could see it, but I kept trying to scrape it, and it was so hard to try and get that wax off of there and have it, like, be melted, whatever. So, if there's any tips or advice or anything like that on how I could fix this, let me know. That's probably why it has this more pointy side, because that's less likely to happen on that side. And this side's like a spoon. But yeah, I love how it's versatile because I do have crumble weed, which would be really, really hard to scoop up with this little pokey side. So huge shout out to Chiba Box for sending me this product. It really came in clutch. And then also huge thank you and shout out to the, to the Smoke Cartel Company. I'm so happy to have another piece of glass by them. I'm definitely going to be using this non-fucking-stop. So be sure to add me on you now. Also Snapchat and Instagram. I love going live on there and smoking with you guys. Life Being Dust is my name on all social media. Alright you guys, thank you so, 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 so much for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys had fun watching me experience something new. I sure had a really fun time filming this video so thank you so much for the support you know it makes me feel so good knowing that I could just talk to you guys all day I know that I have some friends because you guys know in the past I did feel very alone so now you guys see me always smiling always there's always something to smile about something big negatively might happen and something small positive might happen and just use that little bit of positivity to change your whole day to change your whole mood you know we all need to stay strong I'm wishing all some strength I know life is hard I know we all have struggles in life but just know that I'm wishing y'all an extra piece of little strength. So thumbs up the video if my video is able to make your day a little bit brighter. But most importantly, don't forget to stay lit, stay up, and stay positive, you guys. Double deuce! Until next time!